Hello YouTube, welcome to Big Time Nights, here for another episode of Free Rin. Uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I'm, I'm tongue-tied, so it's like really hard for me <laughs> to pronounce certain words. But anyways, Free Rin, episode, uh, season one, episode four. So we're just gonna get right into this. Uh, make sure to like the video, comment what you think about the episode, and subscribe to the channel. All right guys, here we go. Okay, 28 years, so another couple of years has passed. Then why did you accept the job? Because that man clearly needed our help. That must not be your only reason. You're right. I'm doing this for me. Sounds like we have another long stay ahead of us. Yeah, why not help if you can? You got the power to? It's morning time. You need to wake up. There's work to do. The shore isn't going to clean itself. <laughs> she's sleeping. Yeah, she's tough to wake up. I don't know, man. Like, like I said, time moves differently for her, but she. She needs that sleep and she needs that energy, man, for everything that she does. It takes a while to wake up. So far, there's not really much to comment on. <laughs> But praise the prettiness of the anime. It still looks really nice. Tomorrow, you'll be joining us for the festival, right? Right. We're excited to have you. Have you lost your mind? That's so early. There's no way you'll be able to wake up in time. It would be impossible. Not if I simply don't sleep. You're that intent on seeing the sunrise? To be honest, I couldn't care less. That's the reason I'd like to see it. I'm glad she's very honest right there. Man, reading the book is the last thing I, I would be doing if I'm trying to stay awake. <laughs> what a sensitive soul. The only thing he's sensitive to are the effects of his dream. The rest of you got to go, so what's the issue? You should have been there too. We wanted you to enjoy it. It was merely a sunrise. I doubt it would have brought me any joy. You're wrong there. You would have loved it. Why is that? Because you're just that kind of person. You have been watching it with us. It's an experience. She's asleep. She's asleep, Mr. Yeah, she she slept at the wrong time. Now she's gonna be extra tired. Look at it, mistress. It's so beautiful. Oh, is it? It's just a sunrise. Don't act up to me. I can tell you're happy. Maybe so, but only because you're smiling. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. You're experiencing it with other people. Praying, of course. We return to nothing when we die. I like to think we go to heaven. Until several thousand years ago, people largely accepted that nothing comes after. But I know the dwarves value tradition. I myself am skeptical about the idea of a heaven. Magic can't observe the souls of the dead, so an afterlife cannot be outright proven. Though it cannot be disproven either. I for one don't think it matters either way. I agree. In the grand scheme of things, I can't say how much it truly matters. They're covering all, uh, all the philosophies. <laughs> but even if a heaven doesn't exist, I very much believe that it should. Why is that? I feel it's more convenient that way. Those that kept living despite life's hardships deserve more than just a living. I agree with um, Haito. Picture the alternative. A heavenly realm where souls can live in luxury. It's a nice thought. I don't believe in like organized religion, but it would be nice if a heaven or hell did exist. And for me, it's mainly because I believe in justice, number one. I think justice needs to be served in whatever way um, and for people to be judged on how they live their lives and and whatnot um, 
and things aren't fair, you know, like when children die and stuff like that. And I believe, I don't know, it's just you need know, a second shot. <laughs> I don't know, it's just weird. Does everything you have a heaven and hell? Bugs, life, all sorts of life? I don't know. And I don't want to be reincarnated. <laughs> I don't want to turn into a fly that gets eaten by a spider and shit like that. Uh, oh my God. Leave that for the people who do bad in the world. <laughs> Not friendly enough. Well, tell me, is there anything we could do? I know how long, like, elves seem to live for many years. Um, the dwarf, I forget his name. He lives a long time too, but he ages. Not as long as elves. Not even I have lived that long. But I think they said like when he escapes his village or when he leaves his village, he starts to age a lot more. How is that going to keep watch? Oh, don't sell it short. This little sapling will grow. In a thousand years, it'll still be protecting this place. Wow. Probably so, but you'll be dead by then. Man, how many memories will you have and, and how many will you have forgotten? I should try believing for a change. Do you have any idea exactly where this place might be? Let me ponder. If it's in the north, and uh, But that's where... That's correct. It is now home to the Demon King's castle. Okay. Demon King. They destroyed the Demon King, right? It feels a little too quiet. I think she's napped for long enough. I don't know. This this anime might be slow for other people, but I'm not really getting bored at all. Like I I, I really enjoy this. That's not how relationships work. That's how they work for me. Just consider our adventure. It's taken up less than one one hundredth of my life. You should understand, Eisen. I, uh... That's enough. No time for such depressing talk. Today is a day for celebration and glee. Let us toast. It sounds like somebody wants an excuse to drink more. Kind of really sad. She doesn't really live in the moment. The corrupt priest strikes again. <laughs> it's just a blimp in time for her. Elf is a great teacher. You're right. It's a lonely existence. <laughs> Especially if you're alone, like, there's not many people around like you. It took the four of us ten years. I see. So we'll be following the same route you took to the Demon King's castle on your first journey. That we will. Another brief ten-year adventure. I like that she said. <laughs> Another brief ten-year adventure. Okie dokie. Yeah, so far, um... I think people uh, in general might find this a bit slow and whatnot, but I like it. I like it. This is this is kind of my alley. Um, uh, this is I can't say that you know it's hard to react to this, but there's it's not like a, a typical shonen where there's like flashing a lot of fights and all that kind of stuff. But there are some battles and whatnot, and the use of magic is very intriguing. And, um, I really like it. Uh, but hey, it's pretty cool, you know. <laughs> Very peaceful and relaxing and beautiful. But uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, big time nice. Make sure to like, comment what you think about this episode, and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, guys. Peace.